Introducing the horses race number four, this evening's fourth is the fourth leg of the Invitational Handicap Pacing Series sponsored by Budget Car Truck Rental. Racing one mile, purse of $10,000, field of five. The one, King of the Blues, owned by Richard Van Meter, Randy Owens, and Mel Ravilli of Ohio, Randy Owens trains, Eric Ludford drives. Number two, Buckeye Sai, owned by Dave Batner of Columbus, Virgil Morgan Jr. trains, Randy Tharps up. Three, Mertz Falcon, owned by Festum, Confus, Sevens and Brace, Ron Potter trains for Mike Wilder. The four, Keystone Reno, owned by Robert Henry of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Paul Johnson trains for Darren Mauser. The five deadlock, owned by Patty and Wayne Fry of Chillicothe, Jim Arledge Jr. trains Dave Myers in the Sonky. Win play show perfecta, it's the first leg of the pick three. Eight minutes until post time, eight minutes. Fourth race, Invitational Handicapped Pacers in behind the gate. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Mertz Falcon from between horses. First for the lead, Keystone Reno alongside, getting away second. From off the rail three comes King of the Blues. Angling in fourth, Buckeye side, the early trail of his deadlock. Get of the first turn, and Keystone Reno looking to take that lead, and now takes command here. Yielding for cover, second is Mertz Falcon. Three lengths to King of the Blues, at the and fourth. As they round the upper turn, it's Buckeye side, the opening quarter in 27 and 2. Short field coming through the stretch here and on the front with a lead. Odds on favorite Keystone Reno with a lead by two. Ertz Falcon waiting patiently, second King of the Blues still gapping at two lengths, third. Another two lengths, fourth. The Buckeye side and deadlock is a very patient fifth. No one moving here as they approach the half. And on the front with a lead, Keystone Reno off his record win last week. Continues the lead, extends that lead now three, half in 50, seven and three. A nice breather here for Keystone Reno as he takes him to the backside. Mertz Falcon on the inside is second, and now Tharps pulls the pocket with Buckeye Sai coming first up on the outside, and Buckeye Sai was fourth, but he's now third. King of the Blues on the inside is fourth, and Deadlock has found his live cover. He comes to the outside, drafting along fifth. The pace quickens here as they race into the final turn. Reaching the three-quarter mile marker, Keystone Reno, their first 126. Midway to the upper turn, and Keystone Reno. But on the outside, Buckeye Sai is right there, second. Mertz Falcon locked in tight here, waiting for racing room. And on the inside, King of the Blues, deadlock is a sluggish fifth with less than an eighth. And down the stretch they come, and it's Keystone Reno. Mertz Falcon finding racing room on the inside as they sprint for the wire. Keystone Reno, home free here. Mertz Falcon second in one, 53 and four. Finishing third, Buckeye Sai. And the fourth, now official. $2 perfecta for three, $8.80, 880. Trackside is the official winner now this evening's fourth. Number four, Keystone Reno. Six-year-old son of Warren Breeze from the Keystone Ormare Reno Zor. Owned by Robert Henry of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Paul Johnson trains Terran Mauser in the Sonky. Sixth win of the season, his second consecutive here at Cider Downs. Facing the mile, 153 and four fifths. The Henry Johnson and Mauser team are sweep the uh, feature races this weekend last evening winning the uh, feature pace Phillies and Mares Invitational with direct pay and tonight with Keystone Reno order finish King of the Blues 4 Buckeye side 3 Mertz Falcon 2 Keystone Reno the winner deadlock 5 4 3 2 1 and a 5